Greetings, comrades of YouTube. Here we have another suit of armor that I made previous to that suit, which I just tested a couple minutes ago. This suit... This suit, unlike that one, is not fully chainmail, and it's got different rings. It's got the same thickness of wire, and the same weave. However, the rings have an inner diameter of five-eighths of an inch. I started off, these are the first kinds of rings I used. I started off big because I didn't think I was ready to move on to, like, smaller male weaves and things like that. Also, it actually has another weave which is vastly smaller. It uses 18 gauge wire and quarter inch inner diameter. A six in one weave for this one. And basically, on the front and the back, I have five steel plates, 26 gauge galvanized steel, five sheets each back and front, and they seem to be pretty tough when they're layered together, they're kind of useless by themselves. I bent it, creased it in the middle, and along here to give it a deflecting surface off of which blows could deflect, and the rest I filled in with chain mail because that's awesome. I don't think this chainmail is going to stand up particularly well against the bow. I have the same arrow as before. I didn't. I don't think I mentioned before that this is an aluminum tip, and aluminum's not terribly strong, but it seems to fare pretty well against most of what I shoot it at. Now, this is a huge bow and an un un unconventional arrow, so it's kind of difficult to fire. This is actually the only arrow that we can fire out of this bow. It's the only one that's long enough. We have maybe that. That was already there. Maybe this was caused by the arrow. Only a tiny dent right here, because it is aluminum. Arrow didn't like it too much. Smashed the tip, bent it over. Let's give it another shot. This time with the chain mail. Even though the tip's already ruined. Rocks do that pretty effectively, too. That and houses. Shucks. Having some technical difficulties. We'll be back on air in a second. And again, we're still on air. Sort of. Oh. Ooh, whoa. We have full penetration. Even with the screwed up tip. So if you saw the last video with this armor, Yikes, just you know that this that this size ring with the same weave is far more effective because it leaves so many fewer gaps. Oh yeah. Because the tip went all the way through in here. Look at this. All the way. Yeah, you can stick all the fingers of your hand through that hole. Yep. Oh, I by the way, most of my the hand. cameraman is my brother Grant. Hey. He's a pretty cool is, guy. This is Chainmail Man. He's a good cameraman. Your name, username is Chainmail Man, yeah? Yes. Chainmail Man. This is Chainmail Man. He doesn't like dogs. Get it? Because Mailman? <laughs> Lol. Uh. That's hilarious. So we got a bunch of rings out of commission on this. Okay. Now I agreed to film this next part while my brother, Graham, shoots with the other bow that we used in the other test. It's another compound bow. Not nearly as powerful. No. And the arrows are kind of puny and wimpy as well. Not that I mean to diss his arrows. They're fiberglass, not half-inch solid oak. And the tips are little steel blunt suckers. Let me just get a look at this tip here. Yeah. Not very sharp. Anyway. Here we go. Want me to go for the armor or the chainmail? Armor first. That did really nothing. And this is starting to get a little flat at the top there. Yeah, the tip isn't faring too well on that arrow. Let's give it a shot at the chainmail next. Oh! 
Oh, straight Look at through. That. Yeah, these arrows have relatively small tips, which can go straight through this chainmail without even see bending a single link. Yep. I mean, I can just push it through. Right here. This ring but is. Oh. For the well, most part. There's one. For the most part. One single bent ring. But yeah, I just pushed it through there. And now I can just kind of yank it back out, maybe. Maybe. There we go. Got it. Perfect. Give a shot at the arm or something. Preferably near the crossbar. And it bounced off because of the crossbar. You gotta hold it, Aiden. You gotta hold it out for me. Hold what? <laughs> hold what? it while I shoot. Oh, sure. Shoot it by the crossbar. Towards the armpit. Well, I meant, like, right here. Crossbar? Okay. <laughs> Looks, he bent a ring or two there. Oh! Okay. Wow, that was a fail. Not good. Bounced right off the stone steps. That couldn't have been too good for the tip on this one. It's fine. Oof. Yeah, that's flattening out. Damn it. And more or less the same result. Only he didn't destroy the tip on the steps this time. Let's have a look see. I'll find that later. Okay. <sighs> oh! That went right. Bounced way. right off. And bent a link or two. Got a and few put a little inside. dent on the inside. Ooh. Yep. Well, I would say that the plates, they're nice enough against arrows. But the chain mail, maybe it'll protect you against some knives and crap, but that stuff is useless. This is Chainmail Man signing out.